there you are, down at the river in Preston. The River Ribble. It's been raining all yesterday and it's getting quite high. This is where I parked up last night. Just down at the Shaw's Arms. Well, I'll be coming back later, but I won't be parking up here tonight. Mm. It's flowing fast. It's raining. But it's not that cold. A few fishermen there. On the bank. But, oh, there you go. That's why I had Columbus. Oops. It's getting high that water, isn't it? So, I'm going to get off. I'm going to go to my mate's unit and sort a little job out on Columbus. So, have a good day, everybody. And I'll catch you later. Bye-bye. Before I go, I'll give it a quick film round. If it carries on raining, I'll be down later. But it seems to have stopped. Yeah, when I get up to Simon's at SM Conversions, I'm going to fit an air vent underneath with the fridges. Another ventilation, with drilled and all. And sort a few cupboards out, I think. Well, I spent most of the day at SM Conversions. I got a few little jobs on, on Van Columbus. Then I went down the road and parked up on the local pub car park. Hi everybody! Well, I'm parked up on a pub car park tonight. It's the Eagle Pub in Wheaton. Yeah, I arrived earlier on. I had some tea and I arrived earlier on. Uh, tomorrow I'm helping a friend out, which I'll be filming. Uh, I'm helping a friend out. Uh, we're going over to Grimsby. But he's done a job on a camper. So we might have to drop that off in Keefley. I'm only going to help him out. Uh, doing my favour, really. And I'm not doing anything, so I'll go along and have a look round. Uh, yeah, so what have we been up to? Well, last night I stayed down at the river, as you've seen in the video this morning. Uh, the river was getting high, but the, the rain died off a bit, didn't it? So, yeah, I'm making myself uh, a brew. I'm having problems with my 12 volt at the moment. I've no heater. Uh, I think the batteries need properly charging. No, no, because I use it seven days a week, really. I think the batteries have got run down. So I'm going to get them checked out if I've got time when I get back. I'm going to check them out and a friend of mine's going to help, help me as well. So the 12 volts dropping right down to 11.2 and all that and I've just tested it out put a few items on like the water tap and a few other bits lights as they're on now uh, I've turned the fridge off telly's on and it's only on 11.8 and when I put the water tap on bump it's going down to 10.9 so it's something what I need to look at ASAP because the weather's saying the temperature's going to drop next week. I don't know. I don't know whether it's all that crap they say on Google. Because there's meant to be a cold snap of weather coming. But I've no idea. Right, getting on to tomorrow. I'll be up early. Because I'm uh, meeting a friend not far from here. And we're going to be setting off. Yeah, the place we're going to is Magnum Motorhomes. He's buying some parts from there. So I thought I'll go along with him. But he rang me up earlier on tonight saying uh, he might have to drop a camper off with someone. So I don't know the full story yet. So anyway. I'm just going to check this water now.
Let me just start the engine up. It's a bit of, everything's all over in here at the moment. You know what I mean? When you live in a, a camper, you get you're bound to get things all over the place. So you can't have it all tidy all the time. Like them windshields, my gym bag, shoes, some sliders here. So, so it's just one of them things, isn't it? Now it's on 13.3. Can you see? So the split charger is putting power into the leisure batteries now. So that's all right. Have a brew of tea. Another thing I'm going to do, I'm going to bleach this sink out. Get some bleach all the way around it. Because we're cooking. We're cooking and everything. It's need to go clean out. Right, so tomorrow I'll be setting off from here about six o'clock, quarter past six. But before we go, I'm going to film round it because at the moment there's a few more, few cars on the car park, and sometimes when I park on a pub car park, I go in and have I don't know. I just ask them if I can stay there, but. I can't be bothered tonight, so it's local. I was going to go to another park up, but they were doing road works and everything, and they had loads of stone and a machine there. And I thought, I can't stop there. It was full of mud and everything, where they'd been doing there, uh, digging out a field and everything. And I thought, no, I'm not stopping there. So. Got some fruit and everything. And I'm going to have a bit of por porridge. I'm having some porridge. I'm going to set me alarm for about half five, quarter to six in the morning. So I'll say, yeah, but definitely I'll be filming it as well. But last night, it was raining all night nearly. 
uh, I were down next to the river, the River Ribble in Preston. I stayed there a few times, Shaw's Arms it's called, that's what I call it. it used to be an old pub at top, it's shut down now, called the Shaw's Arms. So It's just off London Road on the A6 in Preston. Right, so, hopefully, you've been enjoying my vlogs. I know I've not been travelling or anything, and I've been sorting a few things out, you see. So, I've been sorting a few jobs out, like you've seen in my last video on Columbus. And, just helping a few friends out on the campers. Well, I was meant to help my friend with his motorhome, but he's not been so good. He's had like a stomach virus, so I thought, no way. I thought, no, I'll leave it until he's right. So hopefully we might be doing that at the weekend. So hopefully, middle of the next week, to end of next week, I'll be hitting the road. But I'll keep you updated on that. But it's time for a road trip, I think. So... Let's get some water in here. Get me porridge on. And I'll see you tomorrow morning. And you know what? When I film round tomorrow morning, it'll be probably still dark. We're coming daylight. So, have a good night. See you later. Bye bye. After a good night's sleep. Morning everybody. Well, it's quarter past six. It's just come daylight. And I'm on a pub car park in Wheaton. I think it's called the Eagle. It used to be called the Eagle and Child. I think it's called the Eagle now. I'll just show you around where we're parked. What a cracking little spot though. Come on. There's Columbus Park. I parked it there, edge of it like a woodland. Right, it's only because I'm going to meet a friend of mine at his unit. And I'm gonna go with him today. And to Grimsby, it is. Magnum Motorhomes. He's gonna get a few parts from there, so. I thought, I'll come along. That's a pub there, the white building. And as you can see, it's been raining hard. I woke up just to uh, go to the toilet last night and it was hammering down then. But that were early hours. Can you see, it goes to like some grass. Grass at the back. And there's a beer garden. Good little place, isn't it? In summer. This is the overflow car pit. This is the overflow car park. And I took Columbus into the corner there. So that's the main car park through them two edges there. And there's a sign saying overflow car park, so I'm doing all the suitable. Like I say, I pulled into a lay-by, like a pulling. It's a good pulling actually. It's on park for now, it's just... but they were working. They've been working there. It was full of mud, machinery, and storm there. So anyway. I'm going to get down to my mate's unit and we're going to uh, take it from there. So, see you in a bit. Bye bye. Yeah, I've come with Simon at SM Conversions and we're dropping uh, the Peugeot Boxer off. So, yeah, the Peugeot Boxer. There you go. 
Falcon in 23. Per, uh, Persia Boxer. There you go, there's Simon in his van. I'm going to cross this road and get back in the van and we're on our way to Keefley. Right, we've arrived at Keefley now. Other side of Keefley is to drop this camp of conversion off. So then I think we're heading towards Grimsby to a motorhome company, M motorhome suppliers. So yeah, we're just going to go now and drop it off and heading towards Grimsby. Yeah, we've arrived now at the company where Simon's dropping the camper conversion off at. So next stop is Grimsby and motorhome suppliers. There you go. Next stop, we're going to get a breakfast, then we're going to go to Grimsby to Magnum Motorhomes. Catch you soon. After a two hour drive, we arrive at Magnum Motorhomes. Yeah, so I've arrived in Grimsby with a friend of mine. We dropped a camper off in Keefley and we come over to Grimsby. He's getting some parts for a camper conversion. So I thought I'd come with him to Grimsby and have a look about Magnum Motorhomes. So after we drop the camper off in Keithley, we come over to Grimsby because he's getting some parts for a camper conversion he's doing. Yeah, so I'm going to go in and see what Magnum Motorhomes has in the warehouse. Brilliant place, it looks big, so let's go and have a look. We head back to Preston, I pick up Columbus and I go to a park up. I had a good night's sleep, but... Well, last night I parked up and my heater's not working, so it's done me head in a bit now. So it was a bit of a chilly night last night, but I'm at my mate's unit now. I'm going to get underneath and I'm going to just check a few things. I'm going to rip into it now, try and sort it out because it's predicted rain this afternoon. 
So, wish me luck. <laughs> Yesterday, we were fur trek. And when we Simon at SM Conversions, he dropped a camper off in Keefley. Right, then from Keefley, we went all the way to Magnum Motorhomes. That's in Grimsby. He picked up whatever he needed from there. Then, we went to Corby, near Kettering. And he went to a supplier's there as well. So, yeah. I've got a... It was a fur trek yesterday. And then he gets in my van at night time. I mean, he to stop working. So, here I am. At the weekend, sorting my diesel heater out. Wish me luck. I'll keep you updated, folks. Hi, everybody. Well, I've sorted the diesel heater out. Now, what I did, I, I bought a spur diesel heater. Oh, back in October last year. And I've always had it in the boot. So, I tested the heater out. And what it were, there were no clicking coming from the pump. I got underneath, I turned it on, there were no sound at all. I tapped it and everything. So I took it off and I took the fuel filter off as well because the fuel filter looked like it were a bit black inside. So I took the the diesel pump off, the small pump and the fuel, fuel filter. I took them off and I got one out of the spur eater I've got in the boot because it's essential that I have thought to myself, I've got to carry a spur eater because in occasions like this, when the temperature's dropping and everything, all goes wrong with it, I've got all the parts. And if worse comes to the worst, I'll take it out and put the new one in, which is easy to do. It's a couple of hour job, or else an hour, an hour and a half, it's fitted because oh, everything's drilled and everything and exhaust on. So what I did, I put a new pump on it and I put a new fuel filter on. I clipped it on underneath, primed it up once and it still wouldn't work. But I could hear the pump clicking. So I primed it about four times and then bang on, it's working. As you can see now. fully working now yeah so I've got heat now brilliant I'm buzzing washing there I'm gonna get that sorted uh, tomorrow uh, I've got some mats out of here because I've just had a bit of a tidy round and the mats needed a bit uh, cleaning so I'm gonna get my washing done and the mats done so yeah so I've sorted the heater out Brilliant. I'm over the moon with that. I hope you enjoyed my latest vlog. So, thank you for watching. Thank you for the messages. Stay safe, take care. I hope you've enjoyed my latest vlog. I hope you've enjoyed me. I hope you've enjoyed my latest vlog. Next week, I'll be doing a lot more filming because I've got a lot more planned things going on. And hopefully, I've got a medical appointment on the 22nd. So once I've attended that, and hopefully I, I help my mate out, my mate's rung up as well. He wants me to help him either Monday or Tuesday on his motorhome, because it's going up for sale, you see. So get a few jobs on Columbus sorted out, help my mate out with his motorhome, and get me a medical appointment end of the week and then hopefully Friday afternoon, Saturday morning I'm off up to Whitby. I'm going to Whitby, working my way up to a little fishing village called Staves. So that's where I'm going. All being well. So thank you for watching my latest vlog. I love you all and respect to you all. I also thank you for the messages, all the subscribes and everything. So my videos will be getting better and they'll be more frequent. 
So, yeah. Take care, stay safe, be happy. See you in a couple of days. Bye-bye.